The mind is the connection between the spiritual and the physical. So, and that is what happens when the mind is troubled. It is very difficult to achieve any level of growth. So growth actually starts from the mind because that is the center. That's the engine that controls the entire body. And when I talk again about holistic approach to development, now we talk about your finances. We talk about um, your spiritual life. We talk about the things happening in your life, for example. One thing happening in one area of your life will definitely have an impact in the other area of your life. So, for example, somebody might go to the GP and complain of a headache. And the GP will ask, is there something going on in your life at the moment? The GP is trying to see what could be some other stressors in the life that could be. Rather than trying, you know, to surprise the symptoms, you want to dig deep to see what is actually going on that is causing that. So as a life coach, as a personal transformation life coach, I want to look at other areas of your life that could actually be impacting on your development as well. And that is why I like the holistic approach to personal development. And then when you talk about this holistic approach to personal development again, because I can talk about personal development and all its ramifications, we probably won't live here today. I want to concentrate on the mind again, which is the engine that controls the entire body. Now, when the Bible refers to my said, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Transformation comes from your mind. And a lot of things that we do, it starts with the mind. So when you, when you talk about personal development, I want to talk about the mind. I want to talk about what's going on in your mind. What about your attitudes? What about your self-belief? What about, you know, the way you look at the world? What lens are you using to view the world? I want to talk about all of that. And those are the things we're not taught in school. Nobody taught anybody. Like I, when I went to school with all of this, I realized certain things are not taught in school, but are so crucial. And that is what distinguishes one person from the other person. You could have gone through school together. In fact, you may even make a first class and the other person probably uh, made a third class. But the person with the third class could even actually come out in the world and become more successful because there is something. It's just like when you're baking, you bring all of the ingredients together. If one of them is not is missing, you may not get the good quality of cake. Or if one of them is too much, you need the right balance. And some of those things which we're not taught in school are actually what we learn in personal development. It's personal to you.